Welcome everyone to In the Kitchen with Father Dave. Let's begin with a little prayer. We'll pray for you and ask you to pray for all of us here at Most Holy Trinity in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord God, we give you thanks for that great gift of your Son you sent into the world to be our salvation. He died for us and is risen. We pray that we can really live through the grace of Easter and be prepared especially for the gifts of the Spirit at Pentecost in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Well, I bet... If you're like me, you've enjoyed an awful lot of good food that comes along with Easter. There's things like kielbasa and ham or sausage and all the sides that go with that and good kinds of butter and cheese and especially desserts. All kinds of things are there along with the candy and <clears throat> probably some Easter eggs, that sort of thing. So maybe by this time, if we're looking for a treat, we might want to do something that's a little more healthy. And so we're going to make a smoothie. And so we got a few things. We have a Granny Smith apple, some frozen fruit, some flax seed, and we have some kale. And we have two options here. You could use coconut water or what we're going to use today is the mango nectar. So it should be pretty tasty, but still healthy. Now we're going to begin. We're going to put about a quarter of the apple. And I'm going to be careful because I didn't bring my box of Band-Aids. But that's going to go on in our, our cup. Now, we could take a look at that and say that could represent one gift of the Holy Spirit that someone has received. Now we're going to move on to our other fruit. We're going to do like four tablespoons, try to get a couple of pieces out there, a little variety, because there's some strawberries and peaches and pineapple and some good stuff in there. So we're going to go with that. And we're going to go with one spoonful of our flax seed. Try not to dump it. There we go. And we're going to add a couple pieces of the kale. Now again, that could represent quite a few gifts of the Holy Spirit someone has received. And we're going to go ahead and put in our Mango and nectar, i got to be able to see where the fill line is. I see it. So this will make a pretty nice drink for an afternoon or maybe after a workout. It could be a breakfast if you want to do something quick. All right. Now, again, if those were all gifts to the Holy Spirit, and this is meant to be put together to be a smoothie, there is a problem because it's all in there but it's still not a smoothie. kind of reminds me of St. Paul in 2 Timothy 1-6, where he's saying to Timothy, you need to stir into flame the gifts of the Spirit that you received when I laid my hands on you. So that's what has to be done. So sometimes people in their faith life are like this. They've received baptism, Eucharist, they've gone for confirmation, probably have a lot of people praying for them. They've probably received other gifts, and yet it hasn't come to the fruition of becoming the, the Christian or disciple God wants them to be. So we're going we're gonna to stir this into flame here. Probably going to be liquid board in flame, but we're going to give it a stir. Okay. Now we take a look, we have something very different. We don't have a bunch of ingredients that are separate. We have them that are all brought together to become this smoothie that we intended to have when we started. And so if we do things like serve others, give uh, sacrificially to the church and to charity, uh, maybe get into a small group, uh, pray, spend a lot of time in prayer, become you know, someone who's going to share the faith with someone else, there's going to be transformations by the Holy Spirit. Those gifts are all going to come together, and we're going to become not a smoothie, as good as this is, but we're going to become that disciple, that Christian the Lord wanted us to be. And may the Lord bless you with a nice, healthy treat at home. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm.